<laughs> so uh, if you want, we can go ahead and I can actually show you how to do that. <laughs> well, because all of the hurts that we all carry, everybody's got a hurt story. Yeah, yeah. And that hurt story is what holds us back. So what we can do is we can take that hurt story and we can transform it into a better story. Yeah. And, it, and when we transform it into a better story, then we're healing those hurts of the past. And that's bringing us the love and happiness that we all want. So what if we do have a problem? Well, everybody has a problem, right? Their problems are all over the place, and so are solutions. <laughs> oh, Welcome. Hey, come on, you, you can, uh, Chase. You can jump on with us if you'd like. And uh, welcome aboard. Thank you. Hey, Chase. Good to see you here. Happy days. Welcome <laughs> aboard. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Oh. The crowd is building and the tension is getting higher. <laughs> so you asked me earlier if I had an issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the whole point. Eh? If we're going to learn how to heal the hurts of the past, yep. then we need to give an example of that. Because healing the hurts of the past is a good thing. Oh, who we got here? Patty Benson. Uh, yeah, how are you doing there, Patty? Welcome. <laughs> you -hoo. If you need to just go back, come in and back on, uh, come in and come back on. There we go. All right. <laughs> you -hoo. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Conversation about. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, hello, Patty. Patty. This conversation is about how to heal hurts of the past. So, are you ready? <laughs> because healing the hurts of the past is a great way to move yourself ahead in a happy and loving way. And we just love happy living. <laughs> well, Stephen, why are you in a library? Uh, this is my office, actually. <laughs> You're not allowed to laugh this loud in a library. <laughs> but I, uh, I like to learn and I like to read books, so I have a lot of books in my own office. <laughs> so, so, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. What are the books about? Oh, the books are all uh, mostly about how you can change your way of thinking to become a better person, to become the person that so you came to you Earth to actually be. Well, I don't think anybody is a terrible person, in fact. <laughs> do you, are do you, do you, do you, do you, where are you going with that? Going with that? <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and type any questions you have uh, into the chat box, and we'll be more than happy to answer them as we go along. And as we go along, if anything comes up, then just let us know. Yeah, you, 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 we're gonna. Woohoo! <laughs> it's Damien. Welcome, Damien. Good to see you here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yes. so, how are we ready to go? We are ready to go. You want me? Yeah, okay. So, let's do that then. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you guys how you can heal hurts of the past. And we're going to use Robert as an example, and we're going to help him heal a hurt of the past. But before we do, there's a couple of things you need to know about this. There's always a risk when we start to heal 
uh, hurts of the past. And this risk is that we get stuck in that old trauma. So I don't want anybody to get stuck in your old trauma. So when we're talking about this, don't think about being there. If it comes up in your mind, keep it at a distance from you. And if you find yourself going into it, then look up. Look up, and that will help to keep you out of the hurt. So, are we ready? Absolutely. Okay, so Robert, do you have a specific hurt from the past that you're thinking of? Now, is this specific? Because I'm talking about being, a lot of times, being seen and not heard, but it's called worthiness. Like, a, like I wasn't worthy enough to be able to speak my mind. Oh, yes. Okay, so when you think of this being unworthy to the degree that you cannot speak your own mind in certain circumstances, right? Because you can see then if you go ahead, you get your conversation, you had a lot to say, but you weren't able to say it, or you were made out to be small or uh, victimized, more like the victim. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we've all had that in some cases, right? Uh, where we were pushed down or we were shut down verbally or yeah. physically. And uh, there were people around us who had bigger egos or bigger bodies or bigger ideas. Right. And they right. made us feel small. And yeah. as a result of that, we end up feeling small. And that uh, remains as something that really gets us down. So tell me. If when you think of that unworthiness, then if you were feeling at a 10 at the highest heights of bliss and at a one at the lowest heights of depression, then what, what number would you give that feeling of unworthiness that you now have in you? A five. A five. Okay. So feeling unworthy as a five. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate you from your earliest memory of that. So if you think of your earliest memory of feeling unworthy, how old do you think you would have been? 69, so it would have been, uh, I don't know, I would have. That would have been seven or eight. Seven or eight. Okay. So that seven or eight-old you was doing pretty good. And then one day yep. this incident happened, and that made things start to go downhill. Right. Right. Okay. So imagine. Now I would hide. I would, I'd go everywhere and hide. I didn't want to be really because I didn't really think I had any value. Oh, right. Okay. So imagine then, let's call him a seven-year-old. So imagine now that you are in a movie theater. Okay. And that seven-year-old you is up on the screen, and you're the only person in that movie theater. And now imagine yourself going up into the projection booth, so now you're looking down at you, watching you on the screen. E, okay. Okay. I'm shriveled up like a little kid. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Okay, so now what I want you to do is on that screen, allow that seven-year-old to go back in time to just before that incident when he was safe. Well, when I was, I can remember when I was safe, I'm in my mom's arms laughing, my, because I was always laughing. Aha! Okay, so remember him then in your mom's arms laughing. I do have a, I even have a picture of it, so it's Yay! really cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so now he's on that screen. You're still up in the projection booth. Right. Okay. Now, he goes from that place where he's really... Hello, hello. Hey. hey. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Yoper. Yoper, welcome. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, yo, Bert. Nope. We saw you uh, almost. There we go. We can... <laughs> okay, see. it's not working. Well, that's too bad. We would have loved to talk to you, Yoper. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, so and now... You... Mighty God. I want to just welcome Mighty God over here. Thank you for joining. Oh, yes. Very good. Healer. healer. Yes. I want to just say thank you for joining. Um, oh, joining there's us. all kinds of people on here now that we haven't welcomed. There's Avalora, and Kayla Sorry. Ann, and Fabian... And Damien. Wow, look at everybody. Okay, great to see you all. Here we go. Okay, so let's try to get through this next part without interruption. So now you're up in, <laughs> you're up in the <laughs> I'm up in the booth. You're up in the booth. And I got to my, and I got to holding my Yeah, I mean, you're my up in the booth. Like, you're down in um, in the seats. And you're on the stage as that younger you who's safe laughing in his mother arm, mother's arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want you to play, let the movie play on the screen. From when you're safe, that younger you is safe in your mother's arms. And play it through until after that trauma that made you feel unworthy. Just let that go straight through. You stay up in the booth. And you see that unfolding, and you notice everything that's going on, and it's going through there, and that's traumatic. And now you're coming out the other side feeling a five in worthiness. And that's not very fun. Okay, you've seen that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm run it backwards. Back, 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 back. I'm in mommy's arms. Okay. Now, internally, give yourself permission to grow beyond that limitation. I give myself full and complete permission to move beyond that limitation. Okay. Full and complete permission across all time, space, realities. Oh, look at that. Yes. Excellent. Whoa. Very good. I give myself. Okay. Totally given permission? Yep. Good. Okay. Now we're going to play that again, and I want you to look at it from a perspective of learning. What can you learn that you could have done different, thought different, or felt different going into that that would have shifted that situation around. So now you come out of your mother's arms laughing, you're observing what's going on as you go through that trauma. That's right. And as you're observing that trauma, you see, ah, if I'd have done something differently, believed something differently, felt differently, there, that could have shifted. And if I would have felt, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you let it go through to your safe on the other side. And now that is better on the other side now, right? Yeah, much better. Okay, so now run it backwards again. All the way back, 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 back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back into mom's arms. <laughs> My jaw. Woo -wee. Yeah. How interesting. There was a, just a lot of stuff in my jaw. Wow. It's all going to go. It's all going to go. And I felt 
And when you could look at that situation or when you could look at how shriveled up and small I was. Yeah. And it was because I wanted to hide. Aha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that you're back in your mother's arms again. <laughs> I was just laughing. Yeah, yeah. And now we're going to go through it and see if there's one more thing to learn. I don't know if there okay. is or not. Does it feel like there might be another thing to learn? Yeah, I'd like to know where that, sh that, that, Pin, I know I have an incident, but that whole time frame of, of, of winding that movie through the, the situation and being above that situation made, uh, it was tiring. Of course, <laughs> of course. It's, it's work to shift thinking. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to yawn and go lay down and go have a nap. I know, and that's I not surprising. <laughs> Okay, so does it feel like there might be something else to learn from that? There actually could be. Yeah, okay, so let's get out of mom's arms and let's go okay. through that again. And let's, this time, let's go through it in slow time. Okay. And as we go through it in slow time, we can back it up, make it go forward. We can roll it so we can get different perspectives. We can look at it from any angle. And as we do that, we just notice any nuance or anything that we could have learned to make that work better for you. And as we're learning our way through that, what else can we do, feel, or think that makes it better and better? Um, what would make it better if I would just learn that it was okay to laugh? and not feel, I just wanted to know it was okay for me to be me. Yeah, is it okay for you to be you? <laughs> 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 that is just today, of course. Yeah, yes. I mean, but then I didn't think that. Yeah. So, so that's, that's what- where That little you needed to know that. My little you, yeah, the little you needed to know that. And I squashed myself because of that. Yeah. So the little you needs to be healed here. So, so yeah, I was just little. Yeah. Because <laughs> the little you likes to laugh. <laughs> I do. I love to laugh. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> well, that means the big you loves to laugh as well. <laughs> 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 okay so now so when did i turn it off when did i so in that process i just turned it off and did my i went inside my head and turned off the rest of the world yes 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 so you don't need wow. to do that so now <laughs> as that's going back and forth and you're le learning and learning and make sure you have all the important learnings for you to take forward. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So you have them all? Yes. yes. Okay. So now let it finish up again till you were safe afterward. Okay. And then zip it backwards again. Zip. Why do I take some big breaths right then? It doesn't matter why. <laughs> what matters is what does it mean? Yeah, I like to know what it means. Okay, so what does a big breath mean? Means I don't have to hold on to those thoughts that I were what I was like back then. Ah. And, and if you don't have to hold on to them, what do you do with them? Well, you can truly let them, you truly can bring them, you can switch them to happiness. It's a, it's a yes. switch. It's just a switch. Yes. And when I was in my mom's arms, I was, I didn't have, I was just normal then too. I was happy. I wasn't being bombarded when the situation, when I was being told, seen and not heard, or something similar to that, um, 
hurt. Yeah. So what you needed to know then is that that was the same you that was in your mother's arms. And those people that were telling you that were only telling you their truth. Exactly. That wasn't about you. That was about truth. them. Yes, it's not about, like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. It wasn't it's about very you. true. It was about <laughs> them. <laughs> they didn't want anything else but the best anyway. They didn't know exactly. any different. Exactly. They were just repeating that old stuff that they'd heard before, that they'd seen before, that they'd experienced before, and it wasn't true then, yeah. and it isn't true now. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome. Okay. So now there's no, we're not done. <laughs> but we're moving ahead. Okay, so now when you're still up in that booth, we're going to run this movie rapidly backwards three or four times. So you're going to see it like a um, like a loop. So it's going to go backwards up in front of the stage up to the end and then backwards again and then in front of the stage and backwards again and backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Until it's going so fast, it's almost a blur. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to look at it another time, and this time through the lens of forgiveness. So see yourself in your mother's arms, laughing away. <laughs> well, that, that's like pure enlightenment when you think about that, because I'm glad I have... I'm glad I have a memory like that. Um, that laughter. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now go back to your mother's arms. Okay. And this time, when you get down and go out of your mother's arms, it's all different. But what's important for you to know is who is to be forgiven. So as you're going through this time, do all of the forgiveness. I don't know if it's your mom. I don't know if it's your dad. I don't know if it's some other family member or friend. And I know for sure that it's also you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but there was one other person in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so forgiveness, total forgiveness right now. Let it go. Jeez, man. You really, you, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's enough viewers on here that, uh, guys, I don't know how, okay. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> and when we are not used to forgiving, it's hard, but it gets easier. Forgiving is a skill. The more we do it, the easier it gets. What do you mean it's a skill? Forgiving is a skill. You can learn to forgive better and better, faster and faster, sooner and sooner. It takes me no time to forgive every hurt now. Just right now. But in the beginning, it was hard. So go ahead, forgive yourself. Once you forgive yourself, it's like the there's a well for me it's in my throat. Mm -hmm. It just the, it releases from the throat. Yeah, yeah. forgive. Me. And I want to talk. Hey, will you let me talk? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Look at he's already trying. He's bringing me back. <laughs> yes, you can talk. <laughs> Ah, ah. No, but that's true, though. It's like I really have, um, when you can authentically forgive the people that you were around, then first and foremost, you just have to forgive yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a tough one to go through sometimes. You don't want to yeah. say it, but it's really, 
when you can forgive the people that you are that you would assume that would know your parents yeah, would yeah. know better. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that didn't know. No, they didn't know because their parents didn't know. You can only do what you know. Right. So if you haven't learned to do more, to learn more, to know more, then you can't do more. Wow. So this is what we're doing. We're learning more. And so we can yeah. do more. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can pass on different lessons to our families. <laughs> we can break free great. of the inherited emotional jail. <laughs> Because you can constantly do repetitious things, wake up in the morning yes, and say, yes, yes. honey, you're so beautiful. Yes. Your son, you are, you are so smart. You are uh, a gift to this world. You can, you'll make somebody's and, feel. And, and what do you think about this? I think I'm pretty lucky. That's what I think. Yeah. No, and, but for the children, ask them what they think about it. Because they're all for the children, definitely. Yeah, it's not only the messages that go to them, but it's the messages we receive from them. How well, do we treat those pure. messages? Yeah, those messages are so pure and wide open. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, whoa! <laughs> when I was laughing in my mom's arms, it was pure and wide open. Yes! And then slowly put the lid on things as life went on and progressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so one more word about forgiving, though. Okay. It's forgiving. Once is not enough. So anytime something keeps coming up, forgive again and again and again. Continuously, all day, and... Always forgiving every hurt, because it's not hurting the person you're holding the grudge against, it's only hurting you. So when you clear that up inside of you, then it's automatically clearing it up inside of them. Yeah. And everybody else you interact with. <laughs> okay. okay, there's one more step. <laughs> okay, now it's gratitude. Oh, wow. Can I be grateful for in this? Because now I have learned, now I am more, now I have let go, now I have learned. What can I be grateful for? I can always be grateful for being able to learn for being able to breathe, mm. everything I already have. So filling ourselves up with gratitude. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now tell me now, from one to ten, how worthy do you feel? You can actually truly feel a ten. And uh, wow. you can, you can really feel a ten. And you can have as it, the process be that the thoughts are the trigger here, but that is really. Yeah that's you can really take it to another level by eliminating those feeling it's deep in my tummy <laughs> <laughs> see what we don't understand is this we are what we believe and so by changing And we can believe me being Gene, what held we believe. in my mom's arms and laughing <laughs> is as real as the other story. Yes, exactly. And the story 
<sighs> the story is just a story. And the story has immense power. So tell ourselves new stories. Well, that's the relief, is knowing that I can actually speak that truth. Going from where I was really in my mom's arms and smiling and laughing and then just loved it. Yeah. Life was just yeah, exactly. Because that is maybe I was living, right? Yeah. Loving, laughing, learning, producing. That's living. We were just, we were just being. Or I was. I was just being. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, jump on. So we what do you guys to think? To uh, was that pretty good? That was Did you really like to do that? <laughs> What's that? I'm just asking the crowd here. Type okay. yes if you would like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to take your worthiness or some other attribute from a five to a ten, would that be good for you? If it is, type yes in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, it, was, it was huge. Okay. So if we want to be really, um, really happy, then we have to be willing to change our thinking. And when we are willing to change our thinking, it can be difficult in the beginning, like anything when we start. And so as we do that, then they are going to be happier and happier and happier. And you really can end unhappiness for good. <laughs> I am now more than seven years of no anger, no frustration, <laughs> no stress. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there it is, folks. So if you take the, the tools of mm -hmm. uh, happiness and you use permission and you use uh, learning and forgiveness and gratitude and you keep yourself separated from the old trauma, then you can heal any hurt from the past. And there Absolutely. are ways that we didn't even talk about here then you don't have to go through each one and heal it. You can do them in groups and heal it all much faster. <laughs> and this is really fun. <laughs> well, it is. It is. Our analytical minds, or yeah. my analytical mind, will go back to go back into all figuring out what just happened there. And but what I remember the most is I can choose to be my mother, I can choose yes. to be happy <laughs> and laughing. That's the ticket. As I sometimes don't want to. That's the that's when we don't want to, then we do we revert back to our old ways. Yeah. So it it um it works like this. It's easier to be negative than it is to be positive for a couple of reasons. To say wow. no requires no action on your part. To say yes quite often requires some action. So it's easier to say no. Just like it's easier to roll down a hill. And so we go then from um, the beginning of negativity is not caring, apathy. And, yeah, and boredom. And as you go down from there through frustration and stress and then uh, sometimes anger and guilt and shame and finally into full out depression and uh, unworthiness, you're sliding down all the time, doing less and less. So it's really mm -hmm. easy to get there, but it's hard, hard, hard to live there. So, wow. on the flip side, positivity requires action, and it's more challenging. 
So you have to actually think about, <laughs> you have to actually think about, well, what could I do? What options are there? What, and if I figure out an option that I want, then how am I going to do it? How am I going to get the resources? How am I going to take the action? How am I going to find the people? Yeah, Everything. It's all work. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about it. But the thing is, mm -hmm. when you do something and you do it well, you feel good about yourself. You go, hey, I did that. That's cool. And if you're really lucky, someone else will uh, see that you did that too. And they'll go, hey, you did that. That was really cool. <laughs> and then you go, wow, well, maybe I can do a little more. So you go a little <laughs> step further and you do a little more. <laughs> and then you take another step further and you get onto that upward spiral, which is happiness, which is bliss, which is joy, which is purpose. So the idea is to actually take action. It doesn't matter if you fail. The only failure is not getting up again. You can make mistakes all the way to success. I've been doing that for years. <laughs> I've been making mistake after mistake. <laughs> and I'm still making mistakes. But they're really blessed mistakes because they're opportunities to learn. Uh, mistakes are our primary human method of learning. And if we get really smart, that's profound yeah. right there. Mistakes are your friend. They are what help you to learn. And not learn like in school. Not learn. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I know it was a profound statement, but it was good. That yeah, was a good one. It, but it's not so. learning like you did in school where you get knowledge and you just have knowledge and can regurgitate it when requested. It's about learning to do better. So learning new habits, learning new ways of doing, learning new skills. This is the road to great happiness and great success. So that's what we really want to do is learn to be a good action taker. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and we can all do that. It doesn't have to be perfect tomorrow. We don't have to expect our whole world to shift in a day. We just take little steps and keep on marching. And as we keep on marching a little step at a time, one day we wake up and we're living in a much bigger world. So I hope this has been really helpful for you guys to learn about how to heal a hurt from the past because there's two was, real things I, yeah it was really really powerful and i still and i'm still in an awe and thank you You're for that welcome. Stephen. i really uh it you know it, it it makes it all better to do to to put yourself out there and you'll figure out what actually you'll figure out what works and what doesn't work, and you ought, you have good intentions anyway. Most people on the planet really do yes, have they good do. intentions. Absolutely. So if the, if the people, especially if they're on here, know that they take do any initiative, they would make a, a better life for themselves just taking yes, action. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 any action so is better than no action. Not, any action is better than no action. Any action is better than no action, and, and that's the dumbfounded thing. Is where people this 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 platform allows us to take action in a way that uh, you know it puts us out there and it puts us in front and makes it makes a difference if they have feel the the shift. And I really am thankful for the shift that you gave You're me. You're very today. welcome. Thanks. That's what I love to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So if anybody need any questions answered, just text uh, text me at 903-799-9461 or leave a comment in the chat and uh, or uh, 903-799-9461. And uh, love to take a conversation further or jump on here and let Stephen 
work well, with you. I'm more than happy to help people get happy. <laughs> Yeah, ask That's some job. questions here. If you have an issue going on about how to be happy, how to how to create happiness in your family, how to create happiness in your job, how to create happiness with oh. your friends and relationships. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. He's got to be right back. He's got something going on. <laughs> so thank you for coming by. I mean, really, I really, really appreciate the viewership. That uh, uh, Julian, thank you for joining and uh, absolutely allows me to, to, to uh, open myself up to be a little boy risky. <laughs> you know what I realized? Really? I never told anybody who What's I am. <laughs> I keep saying you're Stephen L. Wiley, but you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, so my name is Stephen you know, Wiley, that's, that's true. Works. That's true. My name is yeah. Stephen Whiteley, and I'll it's tell you a little bit about my story, because um, I well, was born a happy person, and then I got unhappy, and I... Were we all of us born a happy person? I don't know, actually. That's a good, that's a good really? question. Really? Wouldn't you think everybody would be born as a happy person? I don't person? think so, because I think um, if, you believe in, if you believe in karma and reincarnation, uh, then some people... Okay have done bad things before and they need to come to a higher level. And I think it's, I think it's the mission of all of us to find our way to loving ourselves. I think, that's the, I think okay. that's the purpose of life. So I think all of us aren't doing that when we start, but some of us have the mission of being our purpose, as I call it, of creating a happier world, but some other people have a mission of creating a more disciplined world, a more organized world, a safer world, a more creative world, a more collaborative world, whatever kind of world. Everybody has this inside them. So for me, it's happiness. I'm here to create a happier world. So anyway, I got unhappy and I decided to get happy again, no matter what. And I decided, unlike most people, not to change my environment, but to change me. And as a result of that, to my surprise, I found out that you can end unhappiness for good. So I wrote this book, um, this book. <laughs> happiness Works, Get Yours Here. And uh, it's a story of how anybody can end unhappiness for good. You can find it on Amazon if you want. And... Uh, what I just love doing is really two things, is helping people to heal the hurts of the past and to connect with their true purpose for living because that's what allows them to find meaning and passion and fulfillment and that's what feels really great. <laughs> it does. That little yeah. bit about feeling, it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm Stephen Whiteley. Take care, stay well, have fun, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to talk about why there's so much negativity and what's the good in it. So that's going to be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> so see you all back here right tomorrow. Down the and bring your friends and let's have a great time. In the meanwhile, Enjoy your days, have a great evening and a great night, and I hope you wake up refreshed and rejuvenated and ready for a beautiful, happy day. Thank you, Stephen L. Whiteley. Have a beautiful day. Yourself. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye.